welcome back one more time to my channel um in this video we are going to discuss and leverage how chat gpt can generate a research statement for us and we know that um these days using ai is kind of using ai in research is kind of you know it raises some questions but we will see how we can beat that so you know when you are applying to grad schools like the PhD program and master's program, you are required to write a research statement. And it may be very hard if you are a non-native speaker, but it's very hard to even generate the ideas from your mind. So I'm going to use ChatGPT coupled with um, some tools to facilitate how we can use um, we can use AI. So first we go to we go to ChatGPT. And we are going to look for GPTs that can assist us with um, with the uh, writing. So I go to explore GPTs, and then I look for research. Let me type research research statement. Is there research statement writing? Okay, it's not a research statement. Yeah, so research statement. It will give us different research statement but normally i choose the one that has been voted by a lot of people they this one has about 200 plus people using it or who subscribe to it and we can see here before we see start chart we can look at the conversation start starters that is how to draft an intro for my research statement okay. choose start chart right and we know before when you start a research statement sorry um this this page that is i'll leave it in the description this page has um is from i think massachusetts institute of technology that's mit the electrical and computer science communication lab and faculty application how to write the research statement it gave a structured diagram we have the structured diagram com composing of five percent introduction 65 percent past work that is your past research then 30 percent future work of vision and from here you can take your time and go through i'll leave the web link at the description and then um you can also use general motivation so something everyone cares that is what motivates your work all right specific motivation plus problem and how you address the problem what you found the impact of your work and research vision as impact on what everyone cares about so we are going to use this um this outline to generate our research all right and these are samples i i think i opened this sample and um, this is a sample that um sample that sample has written by them but we are going to use chat gpt to generate a research idea for research statement for using this outline so i go back draft draft an intro what was the outcome of the proposed solutions all right so we are combining the the statements written by the research the, the, the gpt and then um what we found over here and what what, what impact how did it impact our research all right how did it impact our research then um that is impact on what everyone cares about yeah and we are going to suggest a conclusion now now i'll say that you also include our past work can you possibly highlight no not highlight possibly mention the past work on this topic and what what can i what and what should i and what and the future future sorry can you possibly mention the past work on this topic and the future research for this topic so we can also say what should i include about my research topic we can see that we can also add that is what should i 
include about my future research okay so we click on enter and we wait for the gpt to generate yeah so introduction for research statement ai models in securing electro electronic vehicles so it's giving us the introduction it's writing the problem motivation and problem identification achievements and proposed solutions impact and outcomes past work and future directions and then future research goals yes so we are going to look through them and as we can see yeah we you can copy it you can just copy but you need to make some editing all right so the rapid ad adoption of electronic vehicles makes a uh, blah 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 and all that and talked about the motivation this is the introduction the motivation and problem identification that motivation for the motivation for this research stems from the increasingly increasing sophisticated nature of cyber threats and what 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 and our achievements and proposed solutions so by leveraging machine learning algorithms that can adopt to evolving cyber threats use these solutions and so i can say from here to address these issues i developed ai based anomaly detection systems and secure yeah so you can see something like that then the past work building on foundation of previous research in cyber security for my work applies and expands what 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 so with this you know your research area very well so you can copy this and may still make some changes all right you can copy this as an intro and you can maybe tell gpt to um to expand the intro you can also ask can you expand the intro section all right so when you write that then you know your research area very well after that right after writing the intro you still follow these guidelines um this is a very detailed gu guideline that would be very helpful i myself i am using this and it's very helpful it's structured it's it's helped me structure my research um my research statement and if you're not satisfied um you can also search for more articles there's another one that i discovered from stanford university but that is very old it also includes research statement uh, pdf all right so let me just click on it and see i hope this is not going to generate anything okay sure so research statement then if you are good with um, um latex we can use latex to you can download the latest repository so the latest sources and the source code from latex here and then i'll leave all in this comment section so we just right you can see the research statement research statement sorry the background and current work and analytical framework to analyze stuff so i'll leave all these things in the comment section so this will help you structure your research statement or research interest i feel this is very helpful these two sides are very helpful and if you want a structured outline or structured write-up you can use word and convert it to pdf or you can use um you can use uh, what do you call it um, overleaf this is um, teaching and research statement so when you even go back and i click on gallery research proposal i think overleaf though for those who are very good with um with um very good with with uh, overleaf we can actually adopt any of these templates to structure your to write your um, your research stuff i think this is not difficult we, overleaf is not so difficult if you can so description of the proposed program so let's say i right click on it and then i click um, this is the pdf view pdf you can view pdf it's like this or blah 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 and then we can view the source i don't think you need the source anyway then you can open it as a um as a template so when you open it as a template we go back to our chat gpt and see and see the introduction what well, introduction is a whole lot so we can say as the world shifts towards a sustainable blah 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 devotion of this work okay so we can copy the 
the introduction and then insert it here all right scientific rational so you go so from my from my what, what, what description of the proposed program change this to introduction intro so introduction introduction to the research research and then I'm going to clear all these probably it's not so difficult so and say control V all right and besides that uh, I want to change the title description of the proposed so we, we can look at this template and see the template I provide and um, this people provide over here research statement so we can write a research statement and uh, where is it yeah yeah so we can change this to research statement we can make it capital caps or caps research statement all right and too much else sorry and then we click on compile well, before you click on compile please check He's settling here as an expanded version. Please take this out and then you run. So when you run, it's going to change everything. It's going to change the introduction to research statement. So if it's too much for you, you can tell chat GPT that text is too much. Okay, it's included both the I think included the motivation as well. That's we can see my motivation for this work. So we can say the world shift my motivation for this work is blah blah blah. So research statement and motivation. So we can see it's just introduction to the research. Um then we can here we can include a subsection where we can say subsection and uh, motivation. Then we click on compile so that it can actually make it real drafted. Alright. And then we can read through and then maybe it would it will have some problem statement and all that so we can do this by ourselves all right and one more thing is um what do i have to mention in this video again yeah so basically this is it i'm going to leave this outline this this um this link and this link to um for you to check it out all right and this is for those who use serious and um, latex. Um, let me see. Okay. And I go to my stuff. So we cancel. 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 All right. So I go back and click maybe research, research statement repository. And I think this is, um, if you need to download it one by one or site description or stuff, you need to download it. All right, so let me check the parent directory. I can show you how to also import this. Yeah, so I can click on research statement parent directory. Then I want to download the link anyway. I wanted to download it in bulk. okay okay so i think is um they gave an outline for that but i can show you how we can do that so this is a bit a bit of a difficult topic anyway but we can go to menu and we can try we can try so we can go to back to project and then we can click on um, new project or maybe i can say blank project and then example project and okay so let me check you have to check you have to check first um res pdf sorry this is download stuff i don't like to i don't want it to download stuff i want the rest te text so let me just click on this okay so i can just say control a and copy that and then say so let me say example project or blank project all right so we can write research statement 
create yeah so I'm going to clear all this and then put this our statement there because it's going to have the intro and everything oh, come on intro and everything and I'm going to label um label this because we are, we are, we are importing because we can import download it directly because I don't know why I can download but we can import it directly and I can say rex uh, research the text so maybe I rename this to research the text and run the outline C yeah um, we don't have the package installed so we are going to still import certain certain things all right so from here oh my yeah we add the this one yeah i'm going to download each and every one of them and then uh, import them okay so the readme text you can check the readme text and then do the importation and stuff I feel they should have put this in a, in a they should have put this in a what do you call it in a zip file that will make it easier all right so let's say control a and copy and then this will be the this will be so I'm getting confused anyway here let me see yeah so page counting don't style so i'll click on this then i click a new a new file so i click new file and write page counting dot style and click create yeah so let's see if it's the right thing we did page counting dot style then we add this all right let's see it's going to work then we go back to we finish page counting check on the the research dot aux i think this one contains the the stuff maybe the citation stuff or maybe the, the citation in the bibliography and all that so I'm going to click on this and then give it a title from here. We have res.aux. So we go to we click another file again. res.aux and I clear that dot text and I click create and then from there yeah. Then I go back to where's the PDF? Okay, let me go back to this one and see. Okay, so let me just put this on my desktop. Save. Then where's the PDF? Start. Yeah, and then um, open folder. Okay, there's one already here. Okay, so let's click on this. I don't think this is very important anyway, but let's try and see. Okay, I think we need a class files and everything. So let me just try and uh, recompile again and see. Use package. What is it? Pa page counting start not found. Okay. Oh, okay, it's okay. Yeah, so it has it still has an error. Okay, so this is it. I think it's working now. So we import the ones that we downloaded from the select files. Um, the one from my desktop that I ps blah blah ps. P 
P S F. So let me just type P. -S -F. We can drag the this one to it, and uh, so I click on the rest folder. The rest. Yeah, and then yeah, it's also going to. And then we click more on the rest log rest ps. Okay, so rest ps file. Okay, it's still there it's just extend, so we need to look for it. Then there's another one we need um select files. Um this is a what do you call it? Um an image file I think. And then I'm going to import the rest switch files from my drive D because I started in drive D. And then, okay, rest, yeah, so I load this one too. Feel the authors should have put this in a, in a, uh, what do you call it, in a zip file to make things easier. Not to be downloading all these things one by one. And this one, the, Control A, and I think this one will be rest log. So, and then we uh, we generate a new file, and the name will be the name will be rest log. I don't think that one is really important, but anyway, let's try and see. Dash log and create and then now so we go to our rest text file and then we try again okay i think everything is intact here so from here we can import what we wrote initially so introduction to research and blah 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 so i'm going to copy all this and to this file to the next file and see use the statement and i'll write my intro so before i start i'll create a section that this says intro you can create a section by intro by typing in slash section blah 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 and write your introduction so introduction or overly fast even made it easier for us we can also go here and then click on section sorry normal text you can click on section here and still put in your is the same thing all right if if you want to actually don't want to clear this out you can also use the percent percent sign to make it um to comment it out and then um, it's not going to show so we write this and then recompile recompile and see as the world shifts blah 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 and all that so this is it this is how it's going to be right and then we can still take the rest the motivation section so i go back and i click on Control c maybe i should use this subsection a all right okay subsection a so i go back and say subsection Okay, this sub subsection you can it depends on how you want to do it all right you can maybe clear this subsection and put hours there but if you want yours to be yeah so we write it again and see yeah background and it's going to align it so this is a short video um it's not really a short video but um how you can leverage chat gpt to write your research statement for you and if you don't want it to detect it with ai you can use the ai site space to paraphrase the text all right so this is a um this is um a subscription one i bought you can use the paraphraser to paraphrase the text so that it wouldn't sound so ai-ish all right it's not going to sound so ai -ish. so I think this is going to be very important. So let me just um, paraphrase. Let me just type. So you can use the paraphrase. Uh, maybe let me try the introduction. Let me try the introduction. 
so that if you don't want it to start, start um, look like it's written by AI, you can just use academic and then the length and then variation i think it's okay and then paraphrase okay or if if not we can also check for ai so you can check for ai ai detection if it can also check for ai this text is mostly human all right so as the global landscape transition towards the paradigm of sustainability evs emerge as pivotal players in the automotive in the transformation integrating eco-friendly technology with sophisticated computational capabilities so when we look at the original texts as the world shift toward the sustainable future electronic vehicles stand at the forefront of the automotive revolution combined green technology so i think this looks better and one thing i do is that i compare text before i copy so i copy them bit by bit because i realize um this is it sounds clearer it sounds clearer so i'm going to copy the text bit by bit then we go back we go back and then we use this then we say so this this transition not only aspires to be diminish carbon em emissions but also aims to transform our interaction so from our text here we can also check if it's um ai if it's ai is AI writer so AI detector so we can use this this size space checks for is it has this AI detect detection tool so we click on it other tools you can also use to check is also undetectable AI I'll leave them in the comment section yeah so it says minimal AI but it flat this point as an AI written text to so one out of five sentences with AI written now let's check the paraphraser and see if it was able let me just copy the whole text here copy text and then go to the site um, the what do you call it? the AI writer sorry the AI detector and see if it's able to detect if it's 100% human or AI so reanalyze and it says 0% so the AI detection report says 0% well I don't trust these AIs because I feel that since we um the the paraphrasing tool was used by size piece, it flags us mostly human. So we are going to check if it is going to check the test, um if it's going to flag it as AI generated or not. So I click on paste your te your text, paste text here and then I put it here. And then check for AI. So it's checking and it says your content appears human. So I feel size space, the AI for size space is actually right. Now let's check with the previous text that we 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 actually wrote before the charge GPT wrote for us before. Let's see that. The intro as the world shifts, blah blah blah. Let's see. And all these things if you get a subscription based it's going to be very helpful as a researcher um let me see check for ai it's checking for ai so you can see this is waiting for your input so check for ai yes so when chat gpt wrote it it says your content is detected as written by ai AI. So I feel the size space for paraphrasing is better. It's better. So the undetectable AI, I think when you actually um, subscribe, you can maybe humanize it. So when you log on to this, you can humanize it and then um, check, recheck again. So this is a short video on how to use leverage chat GPT to write a research statement for you. And thanks for watching this video.